All right, I am live. That's good. Uh, hey folks, welcome to day 173 of my year of solo board gaming, uh, considered by many to be ill-advised and stupid. Uh, I am expecting that people will join us eventually. I'm actually doing this live on Twitch today, uh, which means that it will have been seen a day before. Uh, somebody asked me if I was still Twitch planning on doing any Twitch streams uh, with board games that I was. I realized I, I did a couple times. Um, but I've not done a whole lot, so I figured it'd be kind of fun to do a Terraforming Mars one. This is uh, Terraforming Mars, of course, is my favorite game, as I told everyone in the uh, today's, or not today's video, but the video for yesterday. And as stated, uh, we are going to go through uh, sort of the, each of the, we're going to go through the, the companies that come with the game. And we're going to pick two and then pick one, whichever one I want to go with. Uh, and you'll notice that we still have a pretty large discard pile. Those are all the cards used in the previous game. Uh, much like Wingspan, Terraforming Mars has this ridiculously huge deck that you never have to repeat. Uh, you can just do this and then play a second game. And then after the second game, you'll have to re reshuffle uh, everything. But we're not actually playing with any of the cards that we had yesterday. Uh, we're simply doing it this way. I also forgot to do the two cities to start off with, uh, so we'll do that here in just a moment. All right. So one, two, three, four. So we've got 10, 13, 10, and 6. So that means the first city, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, will go here, which is unfortunate because that blocks off a lot of ocean right there. And then if we start here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that's where some greenery will go. It's the first two cards give you the cities, and the second two cards give you the greenery. The uh, second card is 13, so that's going to be from the bottom. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Again, right next to a couple oceans. That's not good. And then 6. 1, well, this is going to come all the way around. It'll go right there. You can't play any of these cities or greeneries on ocean tiles. So if that is the case, you simply go to the next available space. And so our initial cities are now played. And we're going to use our own markers uh, for these cities because it's going to be a lot easier at the end of the game to distinguish. If I could actually pull these out like a normal human. All right, so we'll do that, 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 and that. The goal, of course, is to get to 63 terraforming points by the end of this uh, 14th generation. Yesterday's video went a little long, so I'll try to do <coughs> go a little bit quicker, uh, but also keep my eye on the chat. So if you do show up, uh, if anybody is out there, just feel free to say hi. I'm not expecting a lot of people. Uh, my, I usually do puzzle streams on Twitch, and those get, you know, about maybe 20, 30 people. Uh, these do not. Uh, nobody expects me. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition or me to play video game or board games on Twitch. All right, so we're, we've got our initial two pair of companies that we can choose from. We've got our initial 10... Uh, 10 things that we can choose from. And I will say I love the Soleta project card. That's going to give me 7 heat, uh, and but it's going to cost 35. Now, what we saw with the last game is that it's actually not that hard to get heat. Uh, heat's probably the easier of the three categories to get. Uh, 7 heat will go a long way towards that, but I'm okay with just keeping that uh, near the end to like maybe like 4th or 5th turn. Uh, we've got Underground City, which in exchange for 2 energy, uh, you can then get two steel and put one city down. I feel like that that is not a good thing to go with because uh, it's just going to take forever to get that get to that point. Birds uh, is only activatable uh, once we get to the 13th, 13% uh, oxygen. If I did go with Inventrix, I could then do it at 11, but even then, all this does is really give me VP points, so I'm not going to go with that. This is another good card. This is basically an event card that will turn around and give me a bunch of plants and a terraforming rating. Um, also some bacteria and animals. I'm not sure if this is a good card or not. I'm going like, to be somewhat ambivalent about it because uh, it is 23 and it's not really getting you a whole lot. It's just getting you 23. Uh, this is Arctic Algae. And basically you get a plant to start off with and anytime an ocean is played, you're going to get two more plants. Uh, this can be played up until uh, it is 12 degrees. This is actually a good early card to play because that means that you're going to get 18 plants out of this for, for all nine oceans. So that is more likely or not what we're going to go with. Uh, Great Dam is requires four oceans. Uh, if we go with Inventrix, that becomes two oceans. That's still going to be a kind of a big leap. I feel like that's a long time to wait to get energy. 
Uh, adapted lichen, this will just give you a plant right from the start. I think this is a no-brainer. Uh, AI Central uh, allows you to draw two cards every turn. Uh, however, you have to decrease your energy production one step, and it requires three tags. This is another one that's definitely a, a, a no. Absolutely not. Uh, then we've got magnetic field generators. This is one where at the cost of energy, you get some plants as well as some TR. But I feel like this is also something that uh, it, it's going to take a while to get that energy up, especially since we have nothing here that actually boosts our energy with one exception. And that's going to require four oceans. So I, I don't see this as a card that we go with. Power infrastructure. I, again, I don't see that we go with that one. Uh, it's a cheap card, but I just don't see it. Now, I haven't really considered... Uh, which of these two to go with. One is going to give me 60 credits to start off with, and every time I play an Earth uh, card, I can play three less for it. And of the 10 cards I got at the beginning of the game, uh, one had an Earth card, uh, Earth tag on it. So, yay! Uh, this one is, uh, you only start with 45, you draw three extra cards uh, for free, which is nice, because usually cards cost you three credits. Uh, and then the effect is that you can ignore... Uh, effects for a plus or minus two uh, steps. So in the case of the thermometer, 24, if, tw if it were required 24, you could go anywhere between 20 or 28 as the requirement. Uh, same with this one, if where it says max 12, uh, we could actually go max negative eight uh, instead of max negative 12. This oceans one would be two instead of four. Uh, so basically those are the, uh, those are those. Uh, and neither of those really present me with uh, great hope here. Uh, part of me is thinking that I should go with the Inventrix just to get the extra cards and hopefully get a better starting position, but it's the trade-off isn't there. That's 60. This is 45. Cards are usually worth three, so this is a grand total of 54. That's still better, and plus I may not have gotten any Earth cards right at the start, but I should get some as we go along. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with Teractor. I'm going to put this in our discarded corporation file. We're going to keep these five cards. Uh, may not be the best idea, especially Saletta, which is going to take a little while to play, and the Great Dam, which is going to take a little while to play. Uh, but we're going, to keep, we're going to go ahead and keep these. That means that we're going to get 45 uh, to start off with. Each of these we have to spend three on. Uh, one, two, three, four. And since we start with 60 for, for our corporation, we're just going to go with that. All right. And now we begin. And I think the first thing that we do is we just go ahead and play the Adapted Lichen. That seems to me like a really simple card to just get out there and just get going. Uh, so that's going to require one. We're not going to be able to do the Great Dam for a while. Soleta is just expensive, but we could we could do it. I mean, we could just start this off with a bang. That's going to pretty much take everything else. Um, Arctic Algae is one I'd kind of like to get out early, too. And part of me is debating whether or not to do... I can't do both. And if I do the imported nitrogen, I could do these two cards. I could do these two cards together and then hold off on Solana, Soleta. I think that's probably the best because heat, it's going to take a little while to uh, to join in. And if you are uh, if you are in the chat and would like to say hi, just feel free to say hi. Um, I know it's a bit weird to see me doing board games out here. Uh, so we're going to do these two things right here, and both of those are going to, it's basically going to be 35 total, so I'm just going to put the, that away. Uh, now the effect we're going to put over here. Now this effect, we get one plant to start off with, but every time we play an ocean now, we're going to get two more plants, which is, I think, a really good effect. Imported nitrogen is an event, so we'll play that face down, but we do get to boost our TR by one. We get four more plants, so I'm just going to replace this with a five. We also get three bacteria and two animals. Unfortunately, we have no place to put those, so we're just going to ignore that aspect of it, and then that's going to go face down. Events always get face down. Hello, Warble J. Hello, Waterfall. Waterfall. Yeah, uh, Terraforming Mars is one of my favorites. Uh, it is one of my favorite games. I've not played it in forever. Uh, and this is the original version with the really crappy components, the really like cheesy like little paperboard thing there. Um, but that is the end of our first round, uh, which is not a bad round. I think that we actually did fairly well. Uh, we're going to go ahead and play. How does the picture look, by the way? Uh, I've been noticing that my videos have been looking really fuzzy lately. Uh, so we're going to get uh, TR to start off with. We're at 15 TR, so we'll get that. 
I think that's the other thing to remember is that you get a lot of currency to start off with, but not so much in your first couple turns. So that 35 Soleta is going to be a while to play. Zero, zero, one. We're at six. Yay. Uh, and then zero, zero. So not a great first round. Uh, we're going to draw some cards. Uh, we've got Lava Flows, uh, Advanced Alloys, Dust Seals, and Nitrophilic Moss. I'm going to retro something here. I forgot that the because there's an Earth tag on this and I'm playing Teractor, I should have three extra for my for this. That was my bad. Alright. Because I have an Earth tag and I save Earth 3 on every Earth one I do. So I have 19 to work with. Which would be great for Lava Flows, except I have to spend three just to keep the card. I do think I kind of want to keep it because it's nice to have that early temperature boost. Uh, advanced Alloy would be really nice because that would make Steel and Titanium worth that much more. Um, dust Seals is just kind of like, hey, you want you want to get five points? Get five points. Or you get one point at the end of this. And then Nitrophilic Foss is a good way to grow plants, except you need at least three ocean tiles. Uh, so looking at these, I think I, I, I don't want to keep Lava Flows. As long as I can get Saleta out, that is really going to boost my heat quite a bit, and I don't really need the extra two temperatures. There's no bonus points for this, and I, it doesn't become cheaper because it's got, it doesn't have an Earth tag, so I'm not going to do that one. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep these two, and I'm going to get rid of Nitrophilic Moss. And the only reason I'm getting rid of Nitrophilic uh, Moss is because of the three ocean requirement. Uh, this, these two I'm going to keep, so that's going to cost me six credits to keep. I'm going to go ahead and play uh, both of them. I'm going to play Dust Seals, which really, the only reason I'm doing that is because it gets me a little bit of extra VP at the end. And then also Advanced Alloys, which would be great if we actually had some alloys in play, and unfortunately we don't. And there's no bonus for the playing this card, so it just goes into effect. Okay. That's, that's pretty much where I'd want it then. I don't think that it'd be reasonable to expect her to read all the fine print. But yeah, I used to have a, um, a light that would go over this, like up here, and that would help with the, the visibility. Um, unfortunately, the metal on it like kind of crashed. Um, I'm trying to think if there's another way that I can do this. I think there might be. Nope, that's not metal. Never mind. Uh, advanced Alloys is strong this early in the game, but I also don't have any Titanium or Steel production, so I, I kind of want those. Uh, it, hopefully I will get those. But now we're going to go through our second production phase. We're on round two. You guys can also help keep me... Um... Oh, Jesus Christ. I didn't even notice that. There we go. <laughs> All right, uh, so uh, we're on round two, and you guys can help keep track of the rounds for me. Uh, I tend to have a bad habit of not moving this up enough. So we start off with our TR. Our TR is currently 15. We have no bonus from that. Just a bummer. But we will now have 18, or let's see, 21 to work with. Still not enough to get Saleta going. Uh, nothing here, but we are gonna get one plant and then nothing for heat or temperature. We are not doing great. We have nothing really being produced right now, and that's a little bit disconcerting. Uh, deep well heater, heating, uh, herbivores, solar power, and sabotage. So sabotage is weird because basically uh, it is, you're just messing with other people. And since there are no other players in the game, this is definitely not one that we want to bother with. I think solar power and deep well heating would both be really good to go with. We can't play both of them this round, but I think they're both good to go with. Herbivores, I think the requirement is too high to really worry about. So we are gonna spend another six on this. And we can do one of them or, and not the other. We're gonna go ahead and do deep, hell, uh, deep well heating uh, for 13. So we get some heat production and both, we also get a TR. Um, 
blah, 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 blah. We're going to do deep well heating because that's going to increase our temperature by one. It's going to increase our energy production by one. And because we increased our temperature by one, we get to increase our TR by one. Uh, and then solar power, we'll just simply have to wait until we actually get some stuff to go. Um, but now we're going to produce um, the TR track. Uh, we got 16 this time. I probably will not take any new projects because I want to get solar power out. So we can get something going here. Nothing here. We're going to get one plant, which means on the next turn, we're going to be finally able to play a greenery. Uh, we're going to get one heat. We still have nothing in the way of heat. All right, and then we're going to move to round three. Or that is the end of round three. We're now on round four. So I think I should, I think that should be there. Let's see. We got cloud seeding, lichen, windmills, and fuel factory. Now windmills is only usable once you get the oxygen up to seven. So I feel like that that is not a good one to go with. Uh, fuel factory would be good because it's going to increase both our MC production and our titanium production, but we lose the one energy that we've been getting. Lichen is good because it's a relatively low requirement um, and we're going to get another plant production. Um, but I really don't want to spend a whole lot of car. I think this time around, I'm not going to spend anything. Cloud seeding is straight out. It would give us two plants, but it would lower, um, lower our MC production by one and it would lower, uh, it requires three oceans. That's just not doable. So let's not go for any new projects. We're going to go ahead and get solar power out uh, for 11. That's going to increase our energy production by one. So now we're at two. We are able to finally do some greenery. Uh, the greenery, uh, we're going to put, I think we're going to put it here so that we can get the I'm debating whether or not to go up there to get the steel because the steel is going to be really helpful. Titanium would be really helpful if I put it down here. I don't think there's any place where I can get both titanium, like two titanium. But I do feel like if I put it over here, I'm going to get titanium and I don't know. And that titanium is now worth four. All right, I think what I'm going to do is put it over here so I get the titanium and the leaf. So that'll go over here. That'll go over here. Now, when you plant a greenery, uh, so normally you would put your color token on the greenery, but in the solo mode, it's just easier to do it on the neutral cities and greenery. Uh, so we're going to put that there. Uh, this is going to cause the oxygen to go up by one, and then I believe the TR goes up by one for both the oxygen and... Increase oxygen in your TR one step. So it is just the uh, just the one. All right. So now we're at 17. Uh, so that's at least a little bit better. And I think that's all we're going to do. We still have seven credits left over, but I kind of want to hold on to them again. If I can get Saleta up on this next turn, that'll be huge. That'll be just like jump starting. Um, but we're at the end of round four. So let's do our production. Uh, we're simply getting our TR, which is 17. Do we even have enough to do Saleta? I don't think we do. We have 24. That's going to be 28. We still need like seven more credits to do it. Uh, and then we're going to produce one plant and two heat. We also move our, sorry, one, two energy. We're going to move our energy over here and produce. All right. So now we're on round five. Soil factory, small animals, flooding, worms. So flooding is a good card in the sense that it's going to give me an ocean and that ocean would then give me two plants. Uh, it is worth negative one points at the end of the game. I think that's okay. It is the only card of these that I think I want. Worms is going to be uh, kick in at four. Uh, small animals will kick in at six. Soil factory requires energy, uh, but does kick up my plant production. I think of everything that we've got here. I think flooding is the one that I'm going to go with. Which I know I think I just said something about not spending any more on projects, but I'm going to go ahead and spend that. We're going to get that, and we're going to go ahead and activate it, so that'll be seven. A lot of cube manipulation here. Definitely a pushing cube sort of game. Uh, we're going to get an ocean tile. 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and put the ocean, I think, right here. This is going to be a good spot to go with. That's going to give me two more plants. More importantly, it boosts my TR up by one. And because of the effect over here of Arctic algae, I'm going to get two more plants with that. So that's going to give me six plants. So hopefully on the next turn I can get that out of the way. And then the negative four here only applies to other players. So I don't have to worry about, I don't have to worry about that applying to me. And then it is going to be negative one points at the end. I'm willing to take that risk. And I think that's everything I'm doing this round, uh, which is a very uneventful round. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get our TR, which is 18 now. Uh, we'll just simply trade two of these single unit cubes in, and now we're at 30. Uh, and then production of one for plants. We move this heat over, and we're going to get, sorry, move the energy over. I don't know why I keep calling energy heat, and we're going to get two energy. All right, and that's the end of round five. We go on to round six. Uh, water splitting plant is not good. Predators is not good. I, I don't like any of these. Yeah, we're not doing any of these. I don't usually care too many about negative points, but negative two for corporate stronghold, plus you lose energy. You do get three extra credits each round, but that just seems to me like a very poor choice. Um, so we're not doing any of that. We are going to go ahead and play Saleta. So this is worth four. This brings this down to 31. And pretty much it's going to use almost all of our credits. We have one credit left over. But we do get to activate Saleta, which is now going to increase our heat up to seven production per turn. And we should be able to knock some stuff out. Uh, and I think that's it. That's all we can really do. So we'll do our production round. Uh, we've still got 18. Two more to finish that off. Uh, one, zero, zero, one here. So we'll get a greenery this round. We'll move this over here. We'll get two more energy and a whopping seven heat, which I'm not going to do like one large cube for because we're going to spend eight of it pretty much right away in this next round. All right, we'll go to round seven. Halfway there and we've done nothing. We've gotten nowhere. All right, oh, uh, let's start way over here. We got special design, which for four credits, the next card you play this generation is plus two or minus two on the requirements. That seems to me particularly useless. Um, 12 is one extra MC for every uh, space tag your opponents have. Since I have no opponents, that's kind of useless. Uh, this is going to require 12 oxygen. There is no point in doing that whatsoever. And then finally, um, this business network would actually lower my MC production one step. Nothing. We are we are not getting any good cards. I think that's good morning, Romicron. We are getting horrible cards, but we can play another greenery. So we'll do that. We're going to play it up here now. When you play something next to your ocean, actually before we do that, before we do that, do we have enough money for an ocean? We have 19 credits. We do. So we're going to do that. We're going to actually start off with the ocean first. Uh, so that is going to get rid of 18 of our credits. We're going to do an ocean as a standard project. We're going to play that there. Now that is next to another ocean, so we're going to get two credits for that. We also got two plants for that. We can do this. And then we also get two plants because of the effect that Arctic Algae has. So that's two more. The reason I wanted to do it that way is now I can spend eight credits on eight plants on a greenery. That greenery will go here. And because it's next to two oceans, we're going to get four credits. And I'm just going to do a trade off. And we're going to get two more plants. Uh, we're almost back up to eight plants again, which is nice. Uh, we do have enough heat here now to move up the thermometer by one. Uh, now, the oceans, the, and I've been forgetting to do TR, so I'm gonna back up here. Um, each ocean pushes me up one for TR. 
The greenery moves the oxygen up by one, which also advances the TR. Uh, moving the temperature up by one also advances the TR. Uh, so the goal of this game is to terraform the planet, which means that you have to do all nine oceans, get to 14 oxygen, and get to plus eight in terms of temperature. Uh, also, you have to get at least 63 TR by the end of the game. We're nowhere near there because we've been getting like, because I'm not a very good player, I think. I'm not going to blame anything else other than myself. But right now, I think that that was a pretty good round. Uh, we're actually making some progress, whether or not it is enough progress with the amount of game that we have left to go, who knows. But we're going to do our production. We're at 22 production now. Uh, we're still not producing any steel or any titanium. Uh, we're going to get one plant. We are going to get two energy, and we're also going to move this energy over. We're going to get seven energy uh, heat, which means that we'll be able to do another temperature thing. And that is the end of the turn. So now we go to round eight out of 14. Rad suits. Uh... Search for Life, Inventor's Guild, Interstellar Colony. All right, so Interstellar Colony would be a great thing to go with at the end of the game. However, uh, because it does give you four points, it does require five science tags, and we have one. Uh, Inventor's Guild, action, uh, look at the top card, either buy it or discard it, uh, would allow you basically to work through cards a little bit quicker. Search for Life is basically just I, that's garbage that's a, just a garbage thing for me to try to go for and then over here the rad suits would actually be a way to increase my production uh whether or not it be enough to really justify it it requires it isn't uh it isn't it's there are six rounds left so i would produce six credits let's see what would the what would the trade-off be here i think the trade-off would be three credits for one point is what the tr the trade-off would be is that worth it? I think it might be, actually. No, we're not going to worry about it. If we if we miss this by one point... Then I'm, I'm going to feel chagrined. We were at 22. What were we at? We were at 22. I just knocked that little cube out of the way. I think we're at 22. If I wasn't at 22, please let me know now. Uh, all right, so we're gonna start off. We still don't have quite enough for a plant yet, but we do have enough to get some heat going. We're gonna raise the temperature one more, which brings us up to 24, which means that we get to raise our heat production by one. So we're now we're at eight heat. Um, we have enough to do another ocean. I think we're gonna do that. So we're going to do an ocean, I think, over here so we can get the plants. So now a couple things happen. We go, our TR goes up by one. Uh, we're going to get two plants. Actually, we're going to get two credits. Let's do the two credits first. We get two plants for where we landed with that. And then we're also going to get two plants because of Arctic algae. So we've got a nice amount of plants coming in, uh, which means that we can do another greenery. Let's see this. Okay, so then I'm at the right spot. That's good. So another greenery, let's go. Now where to go with this one? Uh, I could go here, 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 or here. The advantage of going here is that I do get two more plants, um, which is nice. Uh, I could go, they're gonna sound bizarre, I could go up here. Um, but I think that might be a better move to do the next time I can play an ocean. I still can't quite play Great Dam yet because I still need four oceans to do it. Uh, the reason I'm thinking about that is that that'll give me like four credits, four steel total if I play an ocean and a greenery up there. Uh, and the huge advantage of that is that each of those uh, costs uh, is going to is going to be worth three credits. So uh, where do I go? Where do I go? I think I'm going to go here to tight. Thonium Chasma. It's only going to give me one plant. It is going to give me four credits. So we'll trade that in. We've got 17 credits right now. If I wanted to, I could actually sell this, get an ocean, and then be able to play it. 
uh, if it weren't for the fact that I wouldn't then have the card. Uh, so, boo. I think that's all I can really do this round. Yeah, I think that is. Uh, so we did get to play another greenery, so this is going to go up more by one more. Our TR goes up by one. Uh, we're not doing too badly, but we're not doing too great either. We're going to get 24 this round. Just going to trade that in, do 25. No titanium, no steel. We're going to get one more plant. Push this over here. We're going to get two more energy. And now we're up to a whopping eight heat. Uh, so we'll do one 10 cube and then get rid of two. Okay, so we're on to round nine. Pets, uh, Mars University, Invention Contest, Security Fleet. Security Fleet is a nice little VP thing at the end of the game. Not really worth it. Um, Mars is, I don't think, really worth it. It basically allows you to rotate science cards. Pets is not worth it. That is more just a VP thing. Inventor Contest, I think, might be the only thing to do. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's going to cost me three and then two to play, so I'm just going to get rid of a cube for five. I'm going to play that face down, and then that is draw three cards, take one of them into hand, and discard the other two. So let's take a look at the next three cards. Pick one that we're going to do, and not even going to look that hard. Crap, where was I at? 24 or 25? Is that 24? Once again, my th clumsy hands. So we're going to take this one into our hand because the earth tag here means that we can we can play it for just three since we get three less. And that's going to bump our MC production up too, which is kind of late in the game to do worry about that. But it'll be nice anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and trade in some heat. Uh, doesn't look like I have enough for two heat. So I'm just going to get one. And I don't have enough for a plant. I do have 33. Yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to play an ocean for 18. I'm going to do the aquifer project. I'm going to put an ocean up here. That's going to give me two steel. I'm also going to increase my TR up to 25. Uh, then I'm going to do Great Dam. I can finally do Great Dam because uh, I have four oceans in play. And I'm going to use these. This is going to take up four credits or eight credits. No, six credits. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, that's not going to quite work. Six credits from here, six credits from here, and I get the, the Great Dam, which is going to increase my energy production up by two. A little bit later in the game than I was hoping for, and I'm probably not going to win this game, I'll be honest. I've got nine credits left. I can't really do anything with any of those. Uh, so I think now we're in production phase. I'm going to get 25 TR. Really just doing a bad job in this game. I apologize. I went on Twitch. I decided I was going to actually have people watch me, and instead I'm bombing horribly. to go there. Get four cubes out for the energy. And then we're going to get a whopping eight cubes over here. We're just simply going to do a trade. There we go. We're up till around ten. Four more rounds to go, and I'm nowhere near where I want to be. We've got a mine. We've got black polar dust. Symbiotic fungus. And immigrant city. So I think we get rid of... Oh, and I forgot to get my two plants for doing the ocean. Which means I could have done one more greenery that round. That was stupid to me. We're not going to do either of those. Uh, we've got mine and black polar dust. Black polar dust will lower my MC production by two and raise my heat production, plus place an ocean tile. And I think that might be worth it. I could also play this mine. It would help increase. It would actually give me some steel production for the last four rounds. I don't know if that's really worth it. I might have, just for the just because I played the other one. Uh, we'll go ahead and spend six for these two projects. Uh, we'll do black polar dust first. 
for 15. We lower our production by two. And then we get an ocean, which we'll put here, which gives us two credits, one leaf, and then because we played an ocean, it's gonna give us two more leaves. Uh, we raise our heat production up by three, so now we're at 11. We're gonna do one there and another one here. We are going to be able to spend 16 on heat. Uh, did I remember to do, the, I didn't remember to do the TR. I need to remember to do the TR, what is up with me? That's gonna raise us up by two here for the heat, increasing our heat production by one and increasing our TR by two. Uh, and then I think that's everything for this card. Uh, we're then gonna go ahead and play mine because we've got it, why not? We're gonna trade in four credits and finally move our production up for, by one there. Uh, and then plants, we're gonna get a greenery. Thank you, Romacron. I was I was thinking something was off there because I thought I had the two extra. I think I was so used to not having anything extra this this game. Uh, I'm gonna put my gr new greenery there. It's gonna give me four credits here. And then I'm also gonna get uh, two plants. And unfortunately I don't have quite enough yet for another ocean. Um, I don't really have enough to, to do anything else. So that is it for the round. Uh, we're still back now at zero because we went up two then down two, but we are at 28. Did I remember to do the, I did not remember to do the freaking, there are so many things I always forget to do in, in this game. Um, but we're at four oxygen and we're at 29 for TR points. So I'm gonna trade this in and just take three of these big cubes. We get one for steel, finally. One for plants. Uh, we're gonna move this over here. We're gonna get four energy. We're gonna get 12 for heat. There we go. All right, now we're on round 11. We've only got three more rounds to go. We're not going to finish, I think. We're just gonna just bomb horribly. I don't think there's anything else we can do about it. Um, man, I don't want any of these. I really, this game has just given me garbage. I do not wanna decrease my plant production and increase my MC production. Um, I can do this great escarpment consortium that would increase my steel production by one without costing me anything. I do not wanna do strip mining. Um, Actually, the strip mining would allow me to raise the oxygen by two steps, and that might actually be worth it. Yeah, let's do this one. Uh, and we'll probably take this one just, just because. And then I don't think I'm going to worry about the Ganymede colony. So that's going to require six in terms of credits. All right, so for the Great Escarpment Consortium, uh, that is going to be a flat six. So I'm going to get four in return. I do not have to worry about, because it's got a red outline around the ne the negative, uh, that applies to another player, does not apply to me. So I'm going to increase my steel production by two. By one, I mean. We're going to do a strip mine. This is going to be uh, one of these. Actually, you know what? We're going to wait on strip mine. That might be a good thing to do on the next round. Let's see where we are in terms of other things, though. Um, we're first of all going to be able to raise the heat two more times. I do hate the way that the cubes just fly around. This is one of those games. I don't like going out and getting better game components for a game, um, but this is one of those games where I feel like that would actually be really helpful. That's going to go up by two. Uh, we're going to do another ocean. Uh, we're going to do the ocean over here. which is going to give us two credits, three leaves. And 
raise our TR by one. We're going to do another greenery. The tempting spot to do the greenery would be this spot here, but since I can do oceans here and here, I feel like that that would be a waste of where to put the greenery. Um, I'm going to go here just because of the extra credits. I'm going to get a whopping six credits out of this. And one more leaf. Which means I can do another ocean. Uh, and that ocean, I think I want to put here. That's going to give me four credits total. And I think that's everything I can do on this turn, which actually was not which a better turn than I thought it would be. Uh, we still can't do the strip mine. We don't have enough for that. Uh, we'll do that on the next turn, though. Uh, I did put in a greenery, so that's going to raise the oxygen up by one. It's going to raise the TR up by one. I think that's pretty much everything. All right, so let's see. We're starting with 33 this time. Uh, we've got two steel this time. Still only get one plant each round. Uh, we're going to move all this over. Get four energy credits. 12, heat. We're now in round 12. Let's take a look at this. Mass converter would give me six energy. If I had six science tags in play, I do not have any. I have one science tag in play. That is not going to be worth it. Uh, ironworks would allow me to convert steelworks and ironworks both work the same way they allow you to convert energy into steel and oxygen uh, this uh, becomes a science resource uh, converting energy that way none of these really look like things I want to worry about I started with 33 credits Problem is I don't have anything that I'm building. I feel like I feel like I should be building more, but we're gonna take these out. First thing that we're doing is we're doing the strip mine. We're just gonna go ahead and commit to that. That's gonna take up these three, which uh, we're getting nine for because we've got the uh, advanced alloys. Uh, we're then gonna take sixteen of these to finish paying for it. going to increase our steel by two, titanium by one, decrease our energy by two, but also more importantly, raise our oxygen by two, which is going to raise our TR by two. We're going to trade in some heat. We've got 10, 12, 14, and 16. So that's going to require, raise our heat two more times. Uh, we have enough to do another ocean. So we'll do that. We're going to do the ocean here, I think, which is going to give us a total of two more credits and three more plants. We're going to do another greenery. Also, we have to raise this up by one. Probably making a huge number of errors here. Uh, eight more for greenery. This greenery will go here, which gives us another six credits because it's two for every ocean it's next to, and then two more plant credits. Uh, we also raise the oxygen up by one. That moves the TR up by one. We've hit that thermometer mark, so that's going to raise our TR by a, that. And so basically, nice little chain effect there. We have one more ocean that we'll get when we get to the temperature up to there. Uh, so I'll probably won't get any more oceans, but we've also only got two more turns to go. Let's do our, our production. We're going to get 40 credits. Is there anything else I can do here? I've got five. I've got 13 credits to work with, and unfortunately, I don't think that's really enough. But we're now getting 40 credits per turn for steel. Let's 
one titanium, one plant, two energy, and 12 here. There we go. All right, let's draw some. We're on 13. Let's draw some of these. Algae, tardigrades. And anything that we do here, I mean, it's pretty much just what, what can we, what, how is this going to help us in the last couple rounds? Um, I think we get the algae. The algae requires five ocean tiles, which we have. It's going to increase our plant production for these last couple rounds. Uh, last round, actually, or last two rounds. The, gr the greenery actually does help with the last round because you can still trade in plants if you are short. Uh, but we're going to take that. So that's going to be three to purchase that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and play it. That is going to increase our production up by two. Plus, also give us one of these. Uh, we're going to go ahead and play some heat. Uh, we're going to get a lot more heat. One, two. Um, and then, what do we want to do? We could do, I think we're going to do a greenery this time. We're going to do a greenery here, which is going to do a couple things. One is it raises the oxygen and therefore the TR. Uh, we're going to get four credits and two plants. We'll just trade this in for a credit. Five. Uh, two plants, and that gives us enough for one more greenery. So we'll trade all this in for one more. Oh, plus, did I forget the two TR for heat? Sorry. All right, one more greenery, which, where to go with this one? Another four credits, which again, I'll just do a, a swap out. So we've got 25 credits right now. And then we're going to get one plant. Raises our oxygen and our TR. Uh, we've got enough for one more greenery. We may as well. Um, so we're going to trade all this in. Two more. And get another greenery. And we're going to go here, I think. That's two more credits. One more plant. Increase oxygen, increase TR. And I think that's all I can do with this round. And Romacron, thank you so much for uh, for checking my uh, my math here. I feel like it's, it's an easy game to make mistakes on. Uh, we're now at the end of... Um, the round, so we're going to produce and then see how much we get on this last round, which does not look like it's going to make it. We have to get all the way up to 18. Uh, but we're going to get a total of 45 credits this round, which is kind of garbage, actually. A total of four steel, so we're going to trade that out and just bring get a five. Uh, one more titanium. Uh, three plants which would be great if I had some other way to get two more plants. We're going to get two energy. And we're going to get 12 here. Which is not enough to raise the heat by two, which is what I really wanted. Let's take a look at what we've got here. Capital, immigration shuttles, investment loans, and space elevator. None of which I think are really going to help me at this point. I don't see anything coming from any of these. I think the space elevator, I could just build with titanium and steel. I think I've got enough for that. I've got what? Eight, I've got it like a ton here. That's 24 on its own. And then this is another eight for 35. So I could build that entire thing for this. But other than that, I really just do not see anything useful. 
Capital gets me two more green, yeah, two more of those, which is almost a tree, not quite. This is just a way to get 10 extra. So this is an interesting one. Basically, I am going to take this investment loan. Basically, it's going to give me a little bit of extra cash at the end of the game uh, on this on this one turn. So it's cost me three to purchase the card, right? But because I'm Teractor, I get this for free, essentially, uh, which is going to give me an extra 10 credits. So now what can we do with this 10 credits? Well, we need to raise the heat um, by enough. And unfortunately, the way this ended up working out, that energy hit that I took was a little bit too costly because I'm going to be left with seven there. That's going to raise it by one. I'm going to go ahead and spend the 14 on uh, the asteroid that raises the temperature by one, which gives me another ocean, which I'm going to go ahead and see. I'm going to play this over here where I've got two cards that I get. And hopefully maybe one of these will be something worth it. No, I mean, this is going to give me a plant. Do I want to shoot for that? Oh, plus I get two plants for doing another ocean, and the TR goes up by one more. Uh, and at least this is somewhat worth it. It's going to be 13 total. So I get seven back. Come on. And this will raise my plant production up by three, but also give me a plant, which in turn gives me a greenery. So I'm going to do another greenery. Uh, we will do it. I think it's not really going to matter a whole lot. I'm going to do it right here. It's going to give me two more credits plus another greenery another plant um, and we should be on 14 here that's that was incorrect uh, that's gonna raise us here and here have I done the oxygen correctly I should be at one two three four five six seven eight nine ten plus two for the strip mine so that is correct. I need two more greenery to raise the oxygen up the rest of the way. And then I also need to get this up one, two, three, four more steps. Now I can do four steps here by doing that, which is 56 credits. That is nowhere near enough to do it. So I think at this point, I may as well just accept defeat. I'm going to sell that. Yeah, I screwed the pooch here. I really did. I just completely screwed the pooch. I've got 25, 30, 32 credits left to work with. I'm going to get a greenery at the end of this. Except I'm not. Why am I not? I don't have quite enough for another greenery, that's why. But there's just, it's too much of a gap now. I'm going to spend, I'm going to go ahead and get the other greenery. It's 23. It's, it's kind of a moot point anyway. We're going to put it here. That'll give me one more plant. That leaves me nine credits total to work with. And unfortunately, that's not enough to do anything else. So now we're going to do our last production round. I'm not going to worry about any of it other than the plants. The plants I get six credits for. I'm going to trade that plus the two plants I already have for another one of these, uh, which at this point doesn't really matter. But I'm going to go ahead and put it down here. And that is the end of the game. Unfortunately, I did not complete my terraforming goals here. I did manage to get the oxygen up to 14. Uh, I did manage to get all the oceans out, but I was four short on this because I was too reliant on Saleta getting that heat level up where I wanted it to be. Um, and that's pretty much the game. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Man, that was depressing. Um, 
I will say the 63 is not that hard to get. The 63, like if we, let's say we completed the, the thermometer up there, we still, we would have also gotten like four points from that. Then we would have gotten one, two, three, four, more points from those cards. Uh, nothing from here. We would have actually lost a point there. Nothing from there. But the, wor the where you actually get a lot of your VP is greenery. Each greenery tile is worth one VP. Uh, and so you're going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 more points there. That's going to bring me up to 68. Uh, and then that's it. Uh, it's, which is which is a nice little push at the end. So we would have we would have gotten it had we gotten those four extra four extra things, but we never got it up over zero, unfortunately. And a lot of that is because I never got the heat production where I wanted it to be. And that is a good lesson there. I was a little bit too usually I end up with a heat surplus. I end up with so much extra heat it's not even funny. This time around I ended up with just like one turn too late on Saletta. Um and I think that that's where that's what cost me. Had I gotten Saletta out instead of some of those other things, I think I might have been in a better position. Uh, I ended up doing the the plant thing didn't really affect me that much. I mean, I think about the fact that I had a plant production at the beginning, this adapted lichen, which was nice, but it didn't do anything for me. Like it gave me fourteen plants total, which was enough for one greenery and a half. So something to keep in mind there. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I will be, uh, this will go up on YouTube tomorrow. Uh, and then I will be doing uh, some more terraforming Mars later this week. Uh, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and hop off and let's do, let's see who we can raid with our, with our three people here. Uh, if anybody. Jim. Is there anybody we can raid? Uh, there might be Google Chrome is acting really nasty. Give me a moment here. You have not already left. It's a shame. Usually I find like the beginning of this uh, to be pretty easy to get. Yeah, there's nobody I see currently on that I know. So in that case, we are going to go ahead and just sign off. Folks, thank you so much for watching me and uh, I will see you all tomorrow. Or yeah, tomorrow because I'm going to do a puzzle stream tomorrow. Uh, catch you all later.